of minutes left on my recorder. We better hurry up, girl. So nice, gentle, good lad, and turn. That he started to look to you, Sue. And turn again. Otherwise, you start losing him. And perfect, lovely. Take a step back. Good boy. And what we just need to slow it down. You're walking pretty darn quickly there, honey. All right, so start communicating with your dog. Good, good lad, good boy. And turn right. That's lovely. Slow it all down. You slow it down, he can concentrate on you. If you go too fast, he's going to start thinking about other stuff. Good lad, good boy. Immediately he's with you. And what we will also do, which does make life a damn sight easier, is... That's right, and take a step away. Don't beg him to be with you. You're coming in my direction, sweetie. Good lad, good boy. Good boy. Good. Wow, look at that. Let's have another roundabout. Right, I want you to get the eye contact in now. When he looks up at you, I want him to see your eyes and a nice smiley face. And take a step back. Don't stand there waiting for him to do it because you'll be waiting forever. And turn. Right, another thing you can do is when, when he, good, that's super. When he turns, if you're walking backwards, you get the eye contact. So try that this time, see if that helps him out. Because if when he turns around, he just sees your backside, honey, it's not as nice as your face. So you can walk, can you walk backwards? Yes. Right, we'll walk backwards then. <laughs> then, right, if he jumps up, push him down, say nothing and stop. Then walk on. So he doesn't get anything for doing it wrong, but everything for doing it right. Do you see, every time you go, Rufus, he speeds up. So let's keep it calm. Good lad, good boy. I know ultimately you'll be walking side by side, but at the moment, I don't mind if you do handstands on your head. Well, I'd say that's a bit of an improvement, wouldn't you? Right, and... I'm so used to having it up and jolly. It'll take me a while to get used to it. Absolutely, because, yeah, if you've got a very quiet dog, you're going to have to beef it up. You may need a squeaky toy. You may need food rewards. But with a guy who's so buzzed up like this, he doesn't need it. He needs you to be calm. Then he'll feed off your calmness, and then he'll start thinking about you. You start buzzing around and you just wind him up. Yeah. He, he came, you came down the drive in about gear 10. When you start your walk, you want to start off in gear 1 so you can rise to gear 3. Yeah. You start off in gear 10, you'll be off the Richter scale before you know it, and then you'll be pulled down the road. So, um, I want to hear some good lag, good boy, nice long vowels, remember. I don't want any squeaky voices. Because he is starting to look to you for the first time in his life. Look at that. Whoa, and this is all in real time. I'm very impressed with you guys. You may sit and have a kiss. Have that nice cuddle. That's lovely. And that's what it's all about, is creating that bond with your dog. Your dog starts to look to you and you start having a nice time. If you're not having a nice walk, he isn't and vice versa. You can have these moments of sheer this joy. Like nice. He's kind of, it's almost like he's leaning into me for yep. a, a bit of... A bit of cuddles. Yeah. yeah. And from this, you see, once you've got good stuff on the lead, Sue, we're going to be able to get that good recall. So we're going to work yeah. on his recall. We'll give him a few weeks on this nice short line to get him really used to walking with you and communicating with you. And then we'll start on his, on his um, recall when he's out and about. And we'll be using yeah. a long line. So we'll crack on with that in a couple of weeks' time. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you so much. My pleasure.